Hi friends, uh, welcome back everyone to Angel Trading Friend. Today I am going to touch a very sensitive and very useful topic uh, and this topic is going to be about the right mindset uh, which is required for trading. Friends, I have been uploading lots of lots of trading strategies, I have been you know guiding lots of people, advising lot of people. Uh, what I generally observe, what I generally found out was that you know many people are learning new new strategies but they are not learning the right mindset which is required for trading. So this provoked me from long time to you know uh, give some reference, give some uh, theory or some concept which you have to change, which you can use to make your correct uh, psychology or the correct kind of mindset is required for trading. So this video is all about the right mindset, the psychology which you need to know for doing a trading and to be successful in trading. So if you want to learn about this, stay tuned till end of the video. You will be getting. A uh, very good resemblance, a very good, uh, you know, I'll be comparing it with uh, a different sport so that you'll be having a clear understanding, clear idea that what you have to do. Okay, friends. So, let us go forward to today's uh, topic that is to learn the right mindset required for trading. So, uh, what happens exactly in trading? These are the four kind of, you know, major kind of, uh, you know, mindset which we all face or which we all come across. Uh, most of you who have traded at least once in your life, you will come to know that greed is one major part, fear is also one major part, hope, we all you know buy stocks and we keep hoping, we keep praying that the stock goes up and regret. Sometimes if the stop loss hit or if our capital is washed out, we keep regretting that we should have not done this, we should have not taken this decision and all those things. So generally these are the four things which we come across in trading. Now how do we... Uh, face all this situation, how do we successfully come out of this situation, this is what we are going to learn today. Okay, So we will be comparing trading with cricket and I will be showing you, I will be teaching you major lessons which you have to learn, uh, that is why I am calling it as learning from cricket. Now who does not like cricket, most of us in India like cricket and uh, any ladies who are watching this, if you don't know much about cricket then for you, I will be coming out with new topics the next time and people those who don't like cricket, who like football and other games, uh, please, please, please wait for me because I might require some more time to come out with new videos on psychology. But today's video is about cricket and most of you love cricket, My majority of them in India love cricket, that is why I have taken cricket and have tried to associate it with trading. Okay. So, uh, even if you are not aware of cricket also, you can stay tuned till the end of the video because you will be getting a little bit of idea. Okay, so let us go forward. Okay, so what happens generally when a bouncer happens in cricket? So, this is a situation which many of you would have faced while playing cricket or if you are watching cricket, you would have seen that when a bouncer comes, you usually bend down. Am I right? Yeah. What happens if you get a Yorker? Okay, uh, there is a special technique for defending the Yorkers. And what happens if you get a very hard ball or difficult ball, uh, you do a solid defense. That is what you can see a picture showing here, a solid defense. So friends, basically what happens is, for every shot in cricket, uh, for every ball which is balled, there is a shot. If it is an off swing, you have a different kind of shot. If it is a Yorker, there is a different kind of shot. For a bouncer, there is a different kind of shot. Uh, for a, even if it is a swing balling, for a spin, it is a different kind of shot. But what I am suggesting here today is, if at all you people have not tried this game, just try to install this stick cricket in your mobile. Okay, I will tell you the beauty of this game. What difference does it make? You would have played lots of cricket games in your mobile or in your laptop or you would have played for real. But the beauty of this game is, it is called a stick cricket. There are many games like this stick cricket, but the stick cricket is a very basic game. What happens in this is that it has only a single shot. It has not got different different shots for different different balls which are balled. What I meant to say is that even if you ball a Yorker, even if you ball a mid swing, even if you ball a swing, even if you ball a off spin, leg spin, anything, the shot is single. Okay, if you want to just try it out, you can install this game and you can see that. Okay, so what happens in this game is you have to just observe the ball coming and you have to just hit the hit button. And you, if you start hitting it correctly, all the balls goes for six. Even if the Yorker goes for a six, 
even if it's a full toss it goes for a six even if it's a swing it goes for a six off spin or leg spin or anything it goes for a six now you might be asking what is the big deal in this friends this is the te uh, teaching which i have to share it to you all in when it comes to trading uh, many people start guessing that the market will go down top tomorrow market will go down tomorrow market will be narrow tomorrow all these kinds of bullshit please please don't believe that or please don't predict market for your kind of information market is nothing but people trading so you won't you can't control the emotions of people anytime people can buy anytime people can sell anything can happen market moves in a pattern all those things are agreed but you can never predict you can only hope or you can only you know take action so what we have to do is trade daily with the same kind of strategy same concept even if it's a loss or a profit or a narrow or bearish or bullish whatever thing you just have to trade the same thing day in and day out just like this game which i showed you in stick cricket even if it's a bouncer even if it is a full toss even if it is off spin just trade the same thing so i just try to compare few things what majorly you have to observe here okay so in cricket what happens you have to play shots when it comes in the range okay so in the same thing in trading it is nothing but you are hitting your targets in cricket you will get your bouncers yorkers and swing and all those things that is nothing but in trading it is the stop loss which is getting hit okay so in cricket there is one more major thing that is called as duck out that is your wicket you are losing a wicket so in trading it is nothing but your capital being wiped out wiped out okay so the thing what you do here is our goal is to make sure we play maximum balls and never lose our wicket okay runs will automatically come this is one thing which you have to learn very clearly which you have to learn from cricket our goal is not to make is to make sure that we play the maximum balls we have to stand in the crease for a long long time and never lose our wicket in the sense never lose our capital the runs will automatically come friends this is what i have to say uh, i just wanted to show you this uh, many would have seen this uh, certificates taken by my friends okay so what happens in this is friends uh, i interviewed interviewed you can't say interviewed but i generally ask question whoever you know gives this shares the certificate with me i ask them which strategy you followed i in order to just identify what different they are doing so generally the 99% of them what they told is sir i stick on to your this strategy i stick on to that strategy so they come out with a particular strategy say for example the maximum which came out was reliance prb strategy so what people say is that sir i stuck on to the strategy for 60 days that is why i won the certificate so then it was making me more and more more and more rigid and more and more confident in this concept that don't change the strategy use a single strategy for a long long time so all these people majority of them who you know won the certificates winner certificates majority of them almost have crossed 200 certificates now almost everyone have come out they are were they were successful in trading because they used a single strategy for a long time they were not uh, you know taking decisions that guessing their market will go top tomorrow or top down down tomorrow even if it is going top or down against us also not a problem if you are following the strategy the same then you are following you are successful that is what i meant to say in this okay so friends there are a lot of lot of strategies which are uploaded on my uh, channel angel trading friends this is my channel if you are watching for the first time don't forget to press the uh, subscribe button and also the bell button we'll be getting lots of videos that are available on uh, equities commodities available in hindi as well as english so just stick on to any one strategy and friends uh, believe it me believe it or not you can taste success you can achieve success in trading this is why i made this strategy i mean this video Uh, just to show you all that sticking to one strategy for a long time even if it is a bouncer or anything you can make success in trading so uh, when it comes to cricket who does not know rahul dravid okay so steve wo used to say always this dialogue to his bowlers he used to say that try to take this wicket in the first 15 minutes if you can't then only try to take the remaining wickets why reason being uh, there are many such examples when other batsmen keep following but rahul dravid stays till the end so this is what we have to learn from the game of cricket stay till the end never never lose capital i also made a video on money management golden rule of money management so in that i have very clearly told that how you have to plan your trade each day if you have a capital capital of 1 lakh 
okay don't lose more than 5% on a particular day so that is a maximum limit which i have kept many professionals even keep it to 2 or 3 but in india generally we trade with 1 lakh 2 lakh so uh, generally idle amount is 5% don't lose more than 5% reason being if you have 20 successive stop losses also you are you can still continue in the trade 20 continuous stop loss is never possible but this is the worst situation taken that is why i kept as 5% so friends, the learning from this video which I am going to take today is keep calm and stay till the end. Never, never jump and you know lose more than 5% in a, in a trade on a particular day. Uh, trade daily with discipline and stay till the end. Automatically the profits will come. If not today or tomorrow, at least after 5-10 days you can see that your capital is picking up. That will pick up only if you face the loss today and recover the profits, recover the loss tomorrow in your profits. So in order to stay in the profit, in order to recover the pro money from their losses, you have to stay till the end, you need capital till the end, so don't lose more than 5%. So that's it from my side for today. Any other doubts, any other suggestions or any support required from my side, you can always WhatsApp on my number 809587-6525. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to press the subscribe button. I'll be coming out with more uh, useful videos, you know, useful techniques, strategies. And we'll all learn together, trade together and be happy as always. Thank you and have a nice day.